Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Matt was six foot two. This is Wore a size 12 shoe, and I know that because of Children's Praise Hospital. Thank you, Jesus. All he has is a little nick on the back of his head. You wouldn't think anybody would die because of a... It's like a little bang on the back of the head. But it hit right in the right spot, and the brain began to swell. Can you young people hear what Thank I'm saying? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, y'all hear what he's saying. Praise you, Lord Jesus. They need some monitor back there because some front of Praise you, Lord Let Jesus. them hear what's going on. Yes. Testing one, two, three. Can you, you hear, hear me? Now? Yes. Testing one, three. Do you hear me? The now? high school he attended was so devastated. Amen. Amen. The superintendent said, now you know the, the rules in Kenton County. You talk about God. You can talk about heaven, but you can't talk about Jesus. He's too absolute. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can't refer to the Bible because the Bible is too narrow. You can talk about heaven, but you can't. Yeah, the family of those two police officers who got Catholic. shot in Tennessee today. Yes, Pastor. You asked me for your they called you the pastor of the Pentecostal Church to come and do this memorial service. About two days before, Thank you welcome all of you God gave me Thank an idea. He said, ask if you can yeah, sing. Because sometimes you can't preach it. Okay. You can't I'll talk. I'll be right back after you can talk. You need to sing it. Hallelujah. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Over 700 students came at their own free will. The Catholic priest did a very good job, said all he could say about heaven and God. He had this preacher did a very good job. Don't care any back. Care any back. Praise the Lord. I'm back. I'm still trying to invite people. Church tonight. How is church with David tonight? Somebody out there hurt and confused. Innocent child. We in the beauties. I'm back. Somebody out there whose heart is breaking. Yes. Somebody out there can't quite decide whether to live, whether to die. Amen. Searching for strength to make it through.
Hallelujah. There is somebody out there. Hallelujah. The name is Jesus. All it was cool. Keep taking chances. Thinking they never lose. Hooked on a feeling. Left them empty. Somebody out there. Feeling alone, first in a while, being done wrong. There's somebody out there, shattered from a broken home. Oh, there's somebody out there, arms open wide. To embrace you, wipe the tears from your eyes. He's hopeful and hopeless. He'll carry the burden you bear. When you don't have a prayer, there we go. There we go. There's somebody yeah. out there. God. Since there weren't any restrictions on what you would say, I felt it was time to tell him who I was talking about. I threw my head back. This is what I said. Jesus is his name. He's that someone out there. I, I tried him. I know he's true. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. tonight that song came to my mind i played it today at the bible study when Kay came Kay was speaking about the the, the lady getting healed from the 12 years of being uh and with the issue of blood at the same time this man was asking for prayer for his daughter who was also was 12 years old they both had got healed because of their faith and uh that awesome. one the one woman all she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I can be made whole. Mm. She yes. had the faith just to touch the hem of his garment. And so somebody yes. out there, reach, all you've got to do is reach for Jesus. He's got his arms open wide for you. We can pray. We can pray. We can pray. Just like I said, we can pray all we, you want us to do. But you've got to surrender. You've got to receive yes. the healing. You've got to receive it for yourself. In order mm -hmm. to get now, this woman had been uh, carrying this uh, burden on her for twelve years, but she knew wow. Jesus spot. All she had to do was touch yes. His garment, and He said, "Who touched me?" Because she he knew when somebody touched him that the virtue just ran. He, he could feel the power run out of his body, and I'm like, "Yes, yes, that was faith. That was faith." Twelve years now, this woman carried that. And if you've got a burden on you, if you are you're dealing with something, just reach out to Jesus. He's what He's right there, waiting for you to call on Him to heal you. But you've got to surrender it to Him. We, like I said, yes, we'll pray. We will pray day and night. We're praying all the time for everybody. But yes, you've got to surrender to Him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, Robert. That's right. We have to pray for any strongholds on our life 
That's right, Robert. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yes. These drug addictions, we've got to pray yes. them all. But and, and yes, we can pray. We can pray for the drug addicts mm-hmm. the to want to be to be set free from the drug addicts. Yes, I've had some family members die from drug addiction. And like I was putting on my comment there, in 2013, they kept me uh, doped up on that morphine while I was in the hospital, which I was, I was in a lot of pain after surgery. But I came home. I don't even remember the movie I watched. I was trying to come off the, all that pain medication. And I was just like in a daze for a couple of days. And I was like, What's going on here? I, I was, I just did not feel right. And I'm like, I don't want no more of that stuff. And now they're trying to push this new drug, marijuana drug, on certain patients. I said, no, 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 no. You will not give me that. No. So yes. Well, Sister Wanda, I seen that where you said you could not see Mike. Can you see me on here? Or you? What time is it where you're at? It's only 9.30 here. Are you needing prayer, Sister Wanda? Who wants to go into the Holy of Holies? Who's <laughs> ready to enter into the Holy Let's go into the Holy oh. of Holies. Oh, my. Let me get that while. Hallelujah, praise Take God, hallelujah, praise God. Thank you all for being here. Holy place. Love you all very much. Pass the praise and altar. Lord, I long to see your face. Pass me I'm by the crowds of people. people. And the priests who sing their praise. Lord, I hunger and thirst for your right. And it's only found one place. Thank you. Take Thank me into holy of holies. And take Hallelujah. me in by the blood of the Lamb. And take me into holy of holies. And take and the whole lens vibes. Here I am. Here we are, Lord. Take us into the world. Thank you. Thank you. All that you do. All that you do. Thank you. Thank you. Do me everything. Go to the world. Go to the world. And through the incense altar, Lord, I long to see your life. Let me touch the curtains. 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 Oh,
You can't do this for us so good. As in the days of Moses, I be in the cleft of the rock. Into my king's spirit. I will see you face to face. Praise God, praise God. I was made to gaze upon the beauty of the Now cover in the world, Lord. You cover in the night, Lord. And we watch it. They're covered in the night. So I could want it to where you are. Each one of the I lift up my gaze to the heavens and everything else seems to fade away. I just like to know what to do. I just like to know what to do. I want to see you. So take me into the holy of holies and take me in my little bed of the me into the holy of holies. We glorify you, we exalt you. You are worthy. 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 I just want to see you. You are worthy. I just want to know you. I just want to love you in secret. In the quiet, for I am after your heart. For I am after your heart. For I am after your heart. It's the glory of God to hide. It's the glory of King to seek and find. It's the glory of God to hide. It's the glory of King to seek and find. It's the glory of God to hide. But it's the glory of King to seek and find. Find your heart. I'll after your heart. I'll after your heart. Oh. So come on out to where I am, and don't feel shy or ashamed. Come on out to where I am, For the blood of Jesus is enough. For the 
I love that. That's that's the first time I've heard that song. Wow. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. For Facebook purposes, we do not own the copyrights to this music. That is an awesome song. Oh, wow. Oh. Elizabeth wants to know the name of this song. The name of that song, it's a, it's a, let me go back to it. It's, it's a, Take me into the Holy of Holies. I just went back to see the name of it. Take me past the outer cold and through the holy place and past the grace of your time. I can't help Lord, it. I love I to see your face. Pass me by the crowds of people and the priests sing their praise. Lord, I hunger and thirst for your righteousness. And it's only now I'm pleased. Take me into holy of holies. And take me in by the blood of the Lamb. And take me into the holy of holies. And take the cold, cleanse my lips. Here I am. Here I am. Take me into 
Shiak Ruach Elohim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All good, grace and mercy. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Sometimes when you get in his presence, it's hard to even continue. But we need Amen. his presence to Amen. continue. I could listen I to that the whole time has we're on. Something to, I think Roberta has got something to share with us tonight. Do you? What? Did you get those notes? No. No, you didn't. Okay. Oh, you mean for the like, oh, you mean for the um the depression for devotion? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I have I have it up all ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. She gonna share something with us tonight. Tonight is no, uh. We're still. I'm gonna try to um, share. I'm gonna try to share <laughs> some groups. Awesome. We're, we are still continuing our devotion on depression. And I found a, a devotion that lasts for three days. It's called This is War. And the battle with the enemy is a war. And it's the battle that we're fighting is the one within us, the one that's in our mind. And we need to transform our minds, our thoughts, our actions onto, onto the Lord and not yeah. onto the world. So first I want to say a prayer to start this study and yes. then I'll read from the word of God. Lord okay. Jesus, we just surrender this, this devotion to you, Lord Jesus. Your words, your truth is what we want to hear, Lord, not mine. Let, let you speak through us to let, it, to let everybody know, Lord, what you want them to know, what you want them to hear. And we just ask that you be with us. Let our ears be open. Let our minds our hearts and our spirits be focused on you and receive what you have for us, Lord Jesus. We just commit and yep. surrender this to you. And I say this in Jesus' name, amen. And amen. The, first part of, the first part of the devotion is Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. Amen. I love that. <laughs> yes. This is what the Lord gave me when I was going through the loss of my son. A time to every purpose is what it yep. is. That's right. I'll give you guys a chance for those who have their Bibles to find it. And this this is a blessing to anyone who suffers a loss. It could even be over an animal. If that's the only 
if, if an true. animal is the only one you have that to love because you're alone, this is for that too. It's to get you through that loss as well. Any loss that you, yeah, oh, yes. any loss that you feel, any loss you feel. Yes. Okay, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. See, in, in, ver in verse 3, he even gives us a chance to break down if we need to, just to lift us, lift us yes. up above from where we came from. Amen. Amen. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to yes. mourn and a time to dance. This verse right here, the Lord showed me. I asked him, Lord Jesus, help me get through this. Show me what I need to get through this loss. And uh, the Lord said, why mourn when you know your son is going to be with me? Right. Don't mourn him being in my presence. Mourn if his soul was lost. And I said, wow, right. Lord. We are to yeah. rejoice when we know that they're going to enter heaven. We're supposed to rejoice. The Lord gives us seven days to mourn. Seven days. Oh, hallelujah. My husband, God, needs hallelujah. To hear this. My husband needs to hear this. He really does. And and then because, he gives us. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Deborah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He, he lost two kids in the fire when he, with his first wife. In 1977, to this day, he still mourns their death. One reason. Oh no, no. One reason, one reason is because him and his wife was get, starting to get a divorce, and he said she was threatening to take the kids. And this is what he said. He 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 regrets the day saying it. He said nobody is taking my kids, not even God. I said Bruce, you did not say that. He said, Yeah, I wished See, I had that, never that's... said it because. He, he said, now I know I wished I'd never said it because God took both of them from me. Right, right, so, right. So he had blamed himself the whole time. I said, well, you got to give it back to God. You got to ask Amen. God for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And you got to give it up. You got to, I mean, these Amen. kids, 1977, that's a long time to grieve over two children. It's a long time to hold that in because yeah. that's another reason why he couldn't let go of cigarettes. That's right. That's right. And, yeah. and see, God told me to come in here tonight and this, and and see play that song, and I had to play it twice and get down on my knees. Yes. And that's when the Lord revealed to me why I had to come in here. This is Bruce's sanctuary. Now it's God's sanctuary. Yeah. Now it's. An now it's anointed by God, and it's God's yeah. place. We have to surrender yeah. everything we it's have to the Lord to if we're going to pick up our cross and follow him. Everything has to belong to God. Not just our temples, but everything. Yeah. Everything we own belongs to God. It's not ours. It's only here for a not, moment. Not and then only is God. Not only, God said, not only is he going to deliver him from cigarettes, but he's going to deliver him from that. that he's been holding back. Amen. 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 Lord, thank you, Jesus. And where it says Praise a time to weep, we weep for those who are lost. We weep for the souls who yeah. aren't going to go to heaven, who aren't going to make it into heaven. That's who we cry for. We know over. where those two kids are. We, like I told him before I even went back to the Lord, I said, Bruce, them babies are with God. I know Amen. that in my heart. I know that in my heart. How old were was, they? The oldest one was five, and the youngest one was 18 months old. Those oh, yeah, under the age five. of accountability. If they were under the age of accountability when they pass away, they automatically yes. go to heaven. They go back They go back that to God. True. Amen, hallelujah. Yes, they're in heaven that waiting. Yes. Verse that, 5 that says, Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Now, um, I, go ahead. Finish what you were going to say. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say. No, uh, like I told Bruce, I said, you know, 
You got, you got, yeah, and you got, I, I forgot what I was going to say, so it wasn't, must have meant, oh, Lord Jesus. See, I got a phone call, and I, you know, while he's not here, I won't answer that phone. And it was my daughter right. checking on me. I saw you on <laughs> Facebook, Mom. I was just worried about you. I said, I'm okay, I'm okay. But see, see, oh. distraction, distraction. Yeah. But you know, yes. praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes. You, Jesus. It didn't okay. stop me. Verse, yeah. <laughs> Verse five, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. Yes. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. That's verse six, what the Lord showed me, is when he changes those people in your life for a season. You have to oh, learn yeah. to let him replace them with what he wants to be replaced it with. Because right. every day you get closer to God, you're growing in your maturity as a Christian, and it's whether or not you can help someone else, not just if someone can help you. Because we have to remember everything God teaches because he could put somebody in our life that what we know is a word that they need to hear. Or yeah. they have a word that we need to hear or both. You either both need to learn a lesson or one or the other needs to learn. A time yeah. to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Hallelujah. The next Amen. set of scriptures is Joel 3, 9. Joe. J-O-E-L. Joel. That's why, that's why I thought you said it. Joel. Yeah. It's after the book of Hosea and before the book of Amos. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord, you're so good tonight. Yeah, each Amen. night we're going to take up what we're doing Last night, I did it a little study. Tonight, she's doing it. We're going to take turns doing the studies. Joel 3, 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. I have to do 10 because I, I don't like stopping at a colon. Or a yes, semicolon because they're still yes, they're still going. part of a thought to finish. So the you're verse ten going. says, "Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the work, let the weak say, I am strong." See, that is for those who are weak in mind, heart, and spirit, and think they have no strength. Joel three nine through ten gives you your strength. The Lord, the Lord. That's a verily, verily moment right there, which means truly, truly. When God says verily, verily in the Bible, it means truly, truly, which means it's a definite, a definite statement from God and a promise that cannot be broken. Let the weak say, I am strong. He gives you validation Amen. to say you are strong. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Strong Lord. in the Lord. Strong. Woo. Thank you for the things yeah. you give us to stand strong and fight this battle, Lord Jesus. The next set of verses is 1 Timothy 6.12. Okay, I'm trying to write these down. 1 Timothy. Oh, yes. 6.12. Okay, sir. Timothy 6. I'm trying to write them down in the comment area for you. Okay, okay. Thank you. That will help. I think. Oh, Jesus, thank you, but I, I'm i just, a, ooh, the Lord is all over me right now. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Okay, this is fight you. the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. We have to keep I our believe. faith. It is the foundation of our salvation. Faith is what is what helped us to believe that the Lord is our Savior. Hallelujah. That is our foundation for eternal yeah. life is oh hallelujah fight the good Woo. fight of faith lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art so called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses Woo. diligently it says here deliberately seek means um 
profess means de yes. deliberately seek. We are deliberately and diligently seeking our Lord Jesus every single day. Okay, now the devotional says, declare war. There is a time for everything, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for peace and a time for war. When we think of the word war, we often think about it on a worldwide scale or nation against nation. However, there are raging wars within us all, within us all every single day. In John Piper's now infamous sermon entitled, Make War, he passionately and emphatically declares, I hear so many Christians murmuring about their imperfections and their failures and their addiction and their shortcomings. And I see so little war, murmur, murmur, murmur. Why am I this way? Why am I that way? Make war. Maybe for you, the war within is masked so well that no one really knows that you struggle with anxiety, fear, depression, uh, anger, or uh, addiction. Uh, Yet day after day, the yes. battle is glaring in your mind and soul. Have you said to yourself, enough is enough, and I am sick and tired of being sick and tired about this issue? Then it's time to take action, Amen. and it's time Amen. to declare this is war. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a short clip. Go ahead. Can you see it? Uh, a little bit. Can y'all see it? Can you see it now? Just a minute. <laughs> the only possible attitude toward out of control desire is a declaration of all out I can war. see it. The words are backwards. <laughs> yeah. Murmuring about That's their okay. imperfections and their failures and their addictions and their shortcomings. And I see so little war. Murmur, murmur, murmur. Why am I this way? Make war. If you wonder how to make war, go to the manual. Don't just bellyache about your failures. Make war. See, is that good? Yeah, really good. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was on there. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they'll, they'll do that because um, I was doing something on WordPress and I could add videos yeah. to my uh, devotions over there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That was yeah. a good one. Yes, yes, yes. And this There's does two more days. More. There's okay. two more days for it. It's a three day. Okay. Thing. Do you want to do the rest of it tonight? It's up to you. Without go the ahead. video. Without the video. Yeah, go ahead. Do the three days tonight, and we'll. Do, okay. We'll start something else. Because okay. you got what? that other one. Go ahead. Yeah, it's all. It's it's right here. It's already set up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exodus fifteen three. Exodus 3, uh, 16. 15, 3. Exodus 15, 3. Yeah. I just can't share into the groups because I'm on my telephone. And I got my, well, I, I have to go in there and get my tablet. Well, we can ask somebody else to share. I don't understand why they're not. I mean, it will show up after we get off, but it's not showing up on my right. laptop right. or into the group. I don't understand that. Right. Exodus 15, verse 3. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I love this verse. I have it underlined. I forgot all about it. Because I have oh, 14, okay. 14 is the Lord Exodus. shall fight for you and you yeah. shall hold your peace. 15, 3 is the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, some of y'all can go ahead and share into the some of the groups, but there's some of the yeah. groups that they they're not in that I'm in. Go ahead and continue. I'm gonna go see if I can get it with my tablet. Okay, Second Corinthians ten four. 
2 Corinthians 10, 4. Hallelujah, praise God. If anybody has a comment or... Yes. And uh, please let us okay, know. All my friends you speak the way except for one. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. If y'all have any questions, let us know so we can. Uh, and I'll and I'll stop for a question to be answered for a prayer. I'll stop for anything. For yeah, yes. I'll stop if you guys need something. Yeah. Prayer. Okay. Question. Second. Go ahead. Second Corinthians ten four. Second Are you ready? Go, go ahead. I, I'm tearing into the group right now. <laughs> For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, yeah. and having in a, re in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Hallelujah, praise God. Those are three strong verses right there. Ooh. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth, for writing that down for me. I'm trying to share oh. into Elizabeth wrote down the oh, scripture. Thank yes, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next one is Psalms 144.1. I'm almost through sharing in groups. Take your time, Deborah. Take your time. One forty-four, one Psalm. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. I have to go to the second one because of a colon. Okay. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield. And he in whom I trust, yeah. who subdueth my people under me. Hallelujah. 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 You just have to remember that God is our deliverer, our high tower, our refuge, our rock, our Lord, our king, our, our master. He's everything for us. He fights for us. That video, that's what I picture when I when I read the verse, the Lord will fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. Yes. Exodus 14, 14. That's what he told Moses to tell the people, to tell his people before he parted the Red Sea because they weren't sure if yes. God could take them, out, take them out of that situation. They were scared. Well, every time I come into a battle, I hear that. I remember that. He fights for me. And then that video we watched this morning, oh, you oh, bet you it. It into your life. God fighting for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Forgive me if I ramble, but I got to speak it when it hey, comes on my head. You, you speak what God gave to you. Yes. This is, yes. This is Romans God's 8. Yeah, Romans 8. 21. I love Romans 8 and 11. Romans 8 and 11 are powerful, powerful, powerful. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 8 is about our Father. Romans 11 is on faith. It's the chapter of faith. Romans 8.31 says, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. <laughs> if that's not another powerful verse. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank Praise you. God. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. What did you say? She's uh she's print she's writing down those scriptures for me. Oh okay. Did she, did I go too fast? Did she Thank get them all? Elizabeth, I just did got she get them all into all the groups that I had. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I I'm enjoying this devotion. <laughs> I love the word of God. Amen. So do I. This one, this second day is called God the Warrior. The good okay. news is you don't have to go into this war all alone because we have a God fighting with us and for us. The Amen. Bible describes yes. God in many ways as a loving father, as a constant companion, but it also describes him as a warrior. The Bible yes. declares the Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. These wars within cannot be fought with normal weaponry. 
The scripture instructs us that weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. Hallelujah. Praise God for those words of truth. We need God's divine power and direction to win our wars. Hallelujah. Yes, God yes. gains our hands for war and gives us fingers, skill for battle, and our minds for wisdom. Hallelujah. Sometimes Amen. we don't have the skills to overcome the wars within, and we need some support. And to someone yes. who may have fought the same war and won and now has the skills to overcome and help you win as well. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you for showing us how to win Jesus. this war. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm okay. telling you, God, God's good tonight. God's good Amen. Tonight. Amen. Wow. Okay, day three. Day three is coming. Oh, I just love the book of Ecclesiastes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Ecclesiastes 4.12. Oh, my word, another Ecclesiastes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Praise God, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a break from uh, my devotion. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> See, that all you had to do was let me know, sister. I would find, I would find something to help out, yes. Well, Ecclesiastes 4. Like we're a team. We should help each other. And it's Amen. Not, Amen. It's not about you. It's about what the Lord wants. So. Amen. Amen. Ecclesiastes 4, 12. I love you, sister. I love you. And if love one you. prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Hallelujah. That's what marked said to the Lord when he committed our relationship to God. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Yes. Woohoo. Okay. Proverbs 24, 6. Proverbs is powerful. I mean, oh, it speaks God. truth. The whole book of Proverbs is nothing but truth from Solomon. Yep. Yeah. And the reason he wrote Proverbs is because he knew every single statement he experienced. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Proverbs 24, 6. I love the book of Proverbs. Me too. Me too. You can I do know. one chapter every day of the month. Oh, you great. can just keep doing it over and over again. There's 31 chapters in Proverbs. Okay. Chapter 24, 6. For by thank you, thank you, Elizabeth. For by thanking her for she keeps down scriptures. <laughs> yes, you're a blessing, Elizabeth. For by exactly. wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. Amen. Amen. We're Amen. always supposed to pay attention to our counselors because God sent them to give us more wisdom on how to fight our battle. Oh, yes. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Another one marked down. Okay. And the last one is Deuteronomy 21 through 4. Okay. That's good. Go, you go from the Old Testament to the New Testament. That's why I like. Because... Yes. I don't care what, you know, some churches say you got to live in the New Testament. You don't live in the Old Testament. But if you go back, to, it was prophesied in the Old Testament about Jesus coming. There are some yes. things that was prophesied in the Old Testament that's happening now, if you think about it. Well, for, for the Gentiles, our dispensation is the age of grace, and our gospels are from Galatians to Colossians. That's right. that's that's, that's our right. section. But you have to take the whole Bible to understand where your section started and where your section ends and why. You have to take the whole Bible for what it is. You can't just take it apart and only pick what you want to. It doesn't work that way. God says in his word, do not, do not add and do not take away. 
from his word. Right. Exactly right. what it right. says in the Bible. Praise and the, the Old Testament is our history to the ones who came before, prophesied for us, and showed us how to stand strong in, in our faith in God. Amen. Y'all see the glory in her room? Y'all see the glory <laughs> in her room? I want you to look at that glory. We're going to start calling this the glory room. <laughs> you're so you're so cute. You're so cute. I can't help it. God gave me some joy tonight. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's what I asked him to give you. We were listening to the, that's what I asked him to give you when we were listening to that praise song. Thank you, Jesus, for answered prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. You're just sitting relaxed, sister. Take in all this glory. Yes. Joy, comfort, peace. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Okay. We've been made to endure for a moment, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. 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 Deuteronomy 21 through 4. When thou goest yes. out to battle against thine enemies and seest horses and chariots and people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which Amen. brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. See, there again, God's telling you, he's got you. He's got this battle for you. See, Amen. the Lord tells us we're not supposed to worry. We're not supposed to fret. That's we're not right. supposed to fear. We're not supposed to, we're not supposed to do anything that causes yes. us to, to have anxiety because he, oh, yeah. he thinks that our, our, we're supposed to take in the joy, the comfort, the peace, the happiness, the just be still and know that he is God. We're not supposed to have to fight nothing. That's his job. He tells us that. He will walk us through it. He will give us peace where there, where the storm is. Remember when he walked on water? Yes. Hallelujah. He calmed the storm okay. the minute they had faith and knew God was right there when they could see them. Hey, the storm got cold. My, uh, all we have my to do is take Jesus with us all the my time. My cousin's on here. Hello, Beth. Uh, Bruce is doing much better. He's still in rehab. We're going to go talk to uh, the therapist tomorrow to see how his progress is doing. And I've been telling him everybody's been praying for him. So, uh, Amen. Get on here, Beth. Keep still keeping keep him in prayer at your church for me, okay? And it's nice to see you, honey. That's one of his cousins from up north Hi. in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. She's a sweetie. And welcome you, welcome all of y'all that we did not say hello to. Sorry yes. about that. You're a blessing when you come to listen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, yeah, now you. it's time for the devotion part, and it's called We Win Together. Amen. So here, here is some even more good news. God can give you other soldiers, such as a Christian counselor, life coach, mentor, or a seasoned brother or sister in Christ to win, to join the war with you. And together you can see victory over the issues that have been attacking you for years. The Bible reminds us we cannot go to war alone, that we need others. Hallelujah, praise God. It says, through one many be overpowered two can defend themselves and a cord of three strands is not easily broken so if we stand in three yes. against the devil he has to flee he has to be conquered and he yes. is defeated hallelujah he will be defeated god says so that's a promise and god don't break his promises yeah. hallelujah this, so perhaps this is the reason it's why to... i don't like to sit over here because it gets hot the fans over there and the fans in my room, and it's hot <laughs> over here. But that's okay. Well, go, I sit by the, go sit by the fan. Go sit by the fan. Hey, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I get cooled off in a minute. Ooh. 
The Lord is going to breathe a cool time. breath on you. The Lord's going to go and breathe a cool yeah, breath on you. Blow that fan Be over careful, this it's coming. A cool breeze is coming. So perhaps oh, yeah. it's time to join arms with God and a fellow soldier of Christ and make a declaration of war and begin to address the issues and gain the skills and support to have a continuously yeah. victorious life. Reach out today and enlist someone to join the battle with you and let them know you're ready to go to war together against fear, anxiety, anger, addiction, doubt, depression, or whatever yeah. your war may be. Take them all. Oh, yeah. it says watch the video. I don't want to watch the video. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for this devotion. And thank you all for listening. Hallelujah. And I Ms. hope Grammar, there was How are you there. doing tonight? We got... Do you still need prayer? Are you doing okay tonight, Grammar? Are you still on here? Okay. Maybe she got off. She was watching. Some of them gets on and jumps off, but I think one of them had to have surgery this week. I don't remember which one. I thought it was her. Well, you can say a prayer for her. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, y'all list your prayer request. I don't yes, know if anybody. Please. I did really. I did not know that Brian Raven was on, but I was sent. Somebody sent me a message that he he was on. I don't know if he's still on or not. That's okay. He he'll, he'll understand why I, I didn't watch him. Okay, grammar. Okay, we lift up to anybody that needs prayer. Yes, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, you know every need. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, thank you. I do know. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, that's right. She did lose a... She, yes. She had a death not long ago. Her son died oh. at a young age. Well, to her, it was a young age. It was her firstborn. Yes. Oh, I'll be trying to keep up with heart. her. Bless her heart. Praise oh, the Lord. She, yes, she it's hard heart. to lose your firstborn, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. Yes. So, yes. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We lift her up to you, you, Lord. She's still grieving. If she mm -hmm. is still grieving, Lord, yes, touch Lord her. Jesus. Touch her, yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. Let her know that everything's going to be all right and that the grieving process can stop now. That you've got her son. That you've got mm -hmm. her son, Lord. Let her understand it's, it's okay. She does not have to grieve any longer. Mm -hmm. Give That's it all to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And sometimes amen. we just pray how we're being led to pray. And that's amen. how I was led to pray. So I hope well, we can't do babbling like the Pharisees and Sadducees. It's not, it's not how much we say. It's what comes from our heart that's important. Yeah. Next month, you can say the name of Jesus, and that would be enough of a prayer. That's a prayer all by itself, is just yeah. speaking his name. Okay, I'm going to have to get up under the fan, I think. Ooh. Hallelujah, yeah. thank you, Jesus. It's just too hot over here. And there she goes. There she goes. I'm going to take my... Uh, I'm going to take myself up under that fan. I told you. Well, I yes. It's gonna that's right. while. I'm going to try to get myself there up you under do. that fan. You do that. I told you, sister. I told you. Yeah. Hot. See, you're I'm hot with the Holy Spirit. You have, you, you have a heat wave coming. Just like what happens to me when I listen to Mike. You have a heat wave coming because you're full of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank Woo. you, Jesus. Shaking and sweating. How do you preach God? My laptop still sitting over there on the on my table <laughs> over there. That's okay. It's you okay. Just to play, play the music, but gosh, I gotta. Woo. I can find some, I can find some music if you want. Yeah, I think he's done fill me up with his joy right now. 
Y'all just gonna have yes, to. Uh, I'll have to. Oh, <laughs> you gave me some joy tonight. Ooh, how the. Uh, yeah, I feel like <laughs> running like Kathy did. Kathy ran today. Wow. It wasn't. <laughs> I don't think I need to get out there in that hallway and run by myself, though. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Breakthrough is coming. Hallelujah. Play that song. Uh, play that song by what, Paul Wilbur. That you played last oh, night. Oh, okay, okay. Hallelujah. Gotcha, sister. Oh, the Elizabeth, one I played last on. night? If Elizabeth, you're still on. You like that one I just played a while ago. You and Crystal like that one I just played a while ago. You'll love this one, too. Wow. It's close to that one. It's close to that holy song. Wow. How you doing, sister Kathy? <laughs> you feel like you're like coming for me? <laughs> wow. Can you hear it? Yeah. Deborah, can you hear it, Deborah? Yes, I, I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. I just okay. God's just all over me right now. I'm sorry. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Because I know he's healed you. It hurt me in my stomach today. God touch me. Hallelujah. There's one of our sisters, Karen. How are you doing tonight, Karen? Crazy. No, long time no Wow. Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known. We had a devotion on depression and we're praising the Lord and praying for people tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be coming on. And the of your glory. The fact that Mike is not over. Let the light of your river. Praise the Lord. The truth of your kingdom. Everybody must be in the presence of the Lord because they're not talking tonight. Praise the Lord. Let your glory fall, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank 
Kathy must be in heaven because she is. She just ain't having problems yet. <laughs> Kathy, you Watch still with us? September 22nd, <laughs> Hallelujah. Fox, with Hallelujah. This is a good night. I believe everybody's had a touch tonight. We've had not. Praise you, Lord. Praise the I enter through the blood of the rain. I enter to worship you. Oh, I yes. I enter to honor I am. Lord, I worship you. I worship Lord, I worship I worship For your name is holy, holy is your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you. Oh, I got a hold of My battery's going dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I am to praise the I worship I worship Oh, Jesus, you're awesome. Oh, is your name? Oh, yes, Lord, you're holy. You're holy, holy, holy. Yes. Praise you. Praise you. Yes. Yes. Praise you. Jesus is worthy. Is your 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. worship you and we thank you Jesus for your presence we just welcome you we thank you Lord you surely move tonight today yes yes can you want to hear one more because I believe God's been moving in everybody's homes tonight yes I have really? one more I want to share is that all right that's fine it's from Paul it's from Paul Wilbur Okay. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you all. I enter to honor I Lord, I worship you. I worship you. Lord, I worship you. I worship you. Is Hallelujah, thank you. Praise Oh, I am 
So holy. This living room, hallelujah, praise you, hallelujah, Lord. yes, yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, you know what song came up on my 
my on my on my music box. It says, okay. "Take me into the holy of holies." The song you played earlier. <laughs> that song's never come up before. That song has never come up like that before. Look. Really? Look. That's it. That's it. Right That's there, the right one. There. That's the one. Yep. I love, oh, Jesus. That, uh, that's it. You want me to play it again? You want me to play? You got to anoint that room, you know. That's the most, I mean, that's an anointed song right there, I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. You can, I'm going to go get me some anointing oil because I feel led to anoint this living room yes, again. You, yes. I was going to suggest the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm. I can't see any comment boxes, but I appreciate and love all of you that came to listen tonight. Hallelujah. And, and, you, Jesus. And I yes, pray Lord. that the Lord has blessed you with his presence, his glory, his comfort, his peace. Especially yes, if you've had a bad day today. Praise you, Lord Jesus. I just, when Bruce yes. comes in this house, he's not, he's not going to know what hit him. Ooh, I was just going to say that. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. We just pray over his chair. For my, our chairs. Yes. yes. We pray over our chairs. We pray over every furniture in this house. I pray Amen. Over Hallelujah. See, you were meant to do that. That's why he's where he's at. So you could do that. Yes. My chair, his chair. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, shana, shana, shana. Hallelujah. Let the weight of your glory fall in that room, Lord Jesus. Let your presence be known. The minute he walks in that room, let your presence and your glory fill the Hallelujah. 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 Let your anointing be all over that room, Lord. Hallelujah. As for protection over that room, Lord Jesus, we don't want the devil come into that room. We commit and surrender that room to you, Lord. It belongs to you now. Not family, not nobody but the Lord Jesus. That room is yours, Lord Jesus. That room belongs to you now, Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Yes. Yes. yes, hallelujah, praise Ooh. God. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Whoa. You want me to you want me to play your song? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. We just prayed over. Hallelujah, when he comes home, he's going to feel the power of God in him. Take me past the outer courts and through the holy place, past the brazen altar. Lord, I long to see your face. Yes, we by the crowds of people Amen. and the trees sing their praise. Lord, I hunger and thirst for your righteousness, and it truly found one place. Take me into the holy holies, and take me in by the and take me into holy, holy, and take the call, cleanse my lips, here I am, Amen. here I Altar, Lord, I want to see you. Lord. 
Because of the, the good class. 
Break any bondage you have to their hearts. They know that you're there. You've got your arms open wide for them, Lord. Reach, let them know that you're there with them to fight their battles for them. That they're not alone in their battles. And if they need anybody needs salvation, Lord, pull them. Pull them to you, Lord. Let them know that you're there and that you want them to come into your, that you, that you will forgive them of anything. We just give you all praise and glory and honor for everything that you're going to do, Lord. Because you know every need. And yes, we do lift Cassie up to you, Lord. You know what she's going through, Lord. She said she's going through a lot. You know everything about her situation, Lord. I don't even need to ask anymore. You know everything. So I'm, I'm laying this burden at the foot of the cross, Lord. And I'm praying that she does too. That she lays all her burdens at the foot of your cross. And she leaves it right there at the foot of the cross. And say, Lord, I can't do it. I can't do it alone. I need you to help. Mm-hmm. I need you to take these burdens from me. Because this is just too much for me to, to carry, Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. That's what you need to do, say. Cassie, say, Lord, I'm laying my burdens at the foot of the cross. Now you've got to help me. Help me with this burden, Lord. Help me carry this weight, Lord, because I cannot carry it by myself. Help me with this burden, Lord, because it's just too much for me to handle. Help lighten the load from me, Lord. I feel that's what the Lord is is, is saying to you right now, he's got you, Cassie. He will carry some of that Amen. burden if you just lay it at the foot of the cross and give it to him. It's not yours to carry, he says. He said, just Amen. give it to him and he'll carry it for you. 
We're yeah. not to carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. I did that before. I did that before, Cassie. You're not here to you're not to carry the weight of everybody's problems on your shoulders. That's just why I'm feeling it in my spirit. And I don't know everything about you. I hardly even know you. And you and I that's just why I'm feeling it in my heart because I've been in your shoes. If you're carrying people's problems on your shoulders, no, you can't. You, you can't do that. That's what's weighing you down. That's what's making you sick. Just lay that foot of the cross and say, God, I can't do it. I can't do it alone. I need your help. And we'll give you praise and honor and glory. We know it's going to be done. Jesus yes, mighty name. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Cassie, Jesus. Cassie, still here? Hey, Wendy. Thank you. Was I? Thank you, Jesus. I hope that helped you. I hope that that prayer helped, Cassie. That's just what I felt led to, to pray for you. Praise the Lord. No, we cannot carry people's burdens. No. We, can't, we cannot do that, God says. I've, no. I've been there. I've done that myself. You can't. It's enough can't. to carry our own. Well, you know what? He's a special child. If he's autistic, he is a special child. Let me tell you about Yep. He can see angels. I bet you anything he yes. can see angels. He I is. know that he can see. He can see spiritual things that we cannot see. Lord, let me turn my camera back around. <laughs> me for that. He can see things. Your your nephew is special in God's yes. eyes. Your nephew was made by God for a reason. For God. So let's praise Amen. God for your nephew, okay? Amen. Amen. Let's praise God for your nephew. Amen. That's right. Amen. Autistic children has got a special gift. People may not realize it, but they do. They really do. Have you ever seen that movie, I Am Gabriel? But that autistic man, boy, comes up to him. He knew that Gabriel was an angel. He knew yes. It. He knew. He said, you can, make, you can make it rain. He said, what do you mean? Because these autistic children, they have gifts in them that we do not see. Right. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. One of my brothers is autistic. God, it's awesome and to see. Really mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. My son Charlie, that passed away, was uh, schizophrenic, but a borderline autistic. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Well, I just, that's just why I felt led to pray, but. I praise God. I praise, I praise God for any child. Yes. But autistic children, I praise God even more. Right. I really do. They they've got a gift in them. Oh, they've got a special gift. I had my son had a uh his first girlfriend in preschool had a sister that was autistic and she was so special. She really he had a crush on my son too. And she loved to hug everybody. She was very compassionate. They're very loving and compassionate children. Yes. Uh, she wanted to, every time she'd come over, she want to hug on everybody. And Ruth's like, Mama. I said, she'll be all right. Just let her hug on you. She's okay. Right. You know, kids are kids, you know, but, but anyway. She was very harmless, very harmless. But yes, God's got that boy. God's got him. 
Yes, they do. They have a special heart. Have a special heart. So you be blessed to have that that, that boy for your nephew. Please give me a call after. Yes. She will call you. She wants you to call <laughs> her after and do yeah, what I know. Need. We did I I talked to her last night, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'll she'll call you because we're about to get I off. Read, I, I read to Nick out of the Bible, her nephew. I read that's, I was reading to him. Awesome. That's awesome. So how how does your nephew like uh, Roberta reading the Bible to him? Does he like it? Oh, Kathy's sister's name is Roberta, too. <laughs> awesome. Well, great. Everybody's getting on now when we're fixing to get off. Well, I don't know if the evangelist Kathy will get on in a little bit, but if she does, y'all can follow her whenever she gets on. I got to yes. get off here in a little bit. Get me some rest for tomorrow. He loved it, but great, great. See, her time is different than mine. It's already after 11 o'clock where I'm at, and her hours are a little yeah. bit different than mine. It's 8.14 here. Cassie said that Nick loved it when I read to him. Well, that's great. That's great. Well, she can read to him again tonight. See see what I'm saying? He's He's getting the word of God in him. You're, oh, are you really? Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Praise the and Lord. And the baby, the baby was moving the whole time I was reading. The baby oh. was moving. Oh, Just like yes. John the Baptist would move when oh, Mary yes. would come Remember close John, to Jesus yeah. in her belly. Yep. John, the Baptist, John the Baptist moved when uh, Mary went to see her cousin. Yep. Yes. Yep. Martha. Yep. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. that baby will keep moving long as that baby hears the word of God. Yes, yes. So yeah. congratulations. So if you're four months pregnant, that means the baby's due. Let's see, won't be due on my birthday. My birthday's next month. Shucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be due. It'll be due in uh, end of January, first part of February. So, well, my mother's birthday was in February because my grandson was born on her birthday, February the 8th. Yeah. My birthday's the end of January, so it's, it's pretty I close, know, right? I know it. I know it. I know it. It'll probably be born on your birthday, Washington. Hey, if it's born on Roberta's birthday, we're going to have to celebrate that day. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. We'll have to go live stream, and we'll have to let you... Uh, that you show off that baby split screen with one of us somehow. Somehow <laughs> yeah. I show that baby go. Praise right. the Lord. What you want, a boy or a girl? Or does it matter to you? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The whole family, her fiance even listened to me read the Bible last night. They were all on the couch listening. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Beyonce. Yeah. Okay, well, that's that's good. God, God's moving. God's moving in that family. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go just keep that it on That baby will be Nick's miracle. That uh, will be, that. Yeah, the back. Lord showed me that the baby is going to be Nick's miracle breakthrough to make yes. him more social because he's non-social and non-verbal autism. So, there you go. Yeah. There you go. And see, Kathy's got a birthday in January too. Yep. You seven. want to have a girl? She wants, she a wants girl. to have a girl. Mm -hmm. Are you going to name her Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> that would be something if it, it was a girl and you named her Sarah. Wow. Yes. Or, yes. Oh, oh, I know. How about Mary? Oh, or Martha. Somebody Ooh. Else. I would say Deborah, but we got enough Deborahs. But yeah, we have <laughs> enough Deborahs. Somebody in the Bible, that would be oh awesome. But you name her whatever you want to name her. I'm just aggravating you. <laughs> Roberta knows when I get tired, I get silly. <laughs> yes, you do. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. It's good, silly. It's a good yeah. silly. That's right. Yeah. You, you haven't picked out a name yet. That's all right. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. But um, do you feel better now, Cassie? I hope you do. Mm -hmm. I know you will after you hear some more of the word of God. She Thank didn't you. get much sleep last night. She was tossing and turning. She said, so pray that she gets a good night's sleep. She won't. Oh, Tessa. she wants either Tessa oh, or Althea. Okay. You, 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 you those are like pretty. Me. When I, when you I first could use named both, my, Cassie. Uh, I, I first named yeah. Miranda. I said, I'm going to name her something that nobody else has. Next thing I knew, everywhere I turned, there was a Miranda. I'm like, wait a minute <laughs> here. I thought there was no yeah. Mirandas around here. Do you want a Tessa or a, a late? How you she say could that? call her Tessa Althea Connor. Oh, See? okay. Tessa Althea oh, Connor. That, that, that both pretty. names. Yep. She could have both names. Yeah, that's pretty. That's something. Tessa Althea. Yep. Yes. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. I can't wait. I can't wait to see her. My, uh, I got a sister named Mary. Mary Lee. Wow. Ooh, look at Kathy's name. Kathleen Francis Mary McLaughlin. That's a Johnson. Name. Ooh, what a name, My sister. What a name. Deborah Louise. <laughs> Deborah Louise. I put a I little wow emoji there. <laughs> That's a long name, I tell you. You betcha. Uh, you betcha. Uh, Call your Mary Mac for sure. Name, Mary <laughs> wow. Awesome. We'll just call her Mac. Oh. <laughs> K F M. <laughs> Look here, Kathy. That's not fair. <laughs> yes, it's a very. Oh, yeah. The it name is. she picked it's is pretty. pretty. Yes, it's very pretty. Oh, yeah. I like. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I got a nephew named Matthew. Luke would be, oh, yeah, I, I like Luke. There you go. Now, now you're speaking some names out of the Bible. Luke and Sam. Yep. Matthew Jr. I oh, like Matthew James. Matthew so James. Matthew must be the daddy. Matthew, because you say Matthew Jr. Yeah. Any yep. of those names would be perfect. But even Matthew if you, James even if Connor. You, the girl, Matthew you could James name a girl, Connor. Sam. Sammy. Sam, my sister's Sam. name is Mariana, but my father nicknamed her Sam because she looked like one of his best friends because her face was all wrinkled up when she was born. <laughs> really? <laughs> so we've called her Sammy her whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Don't a little bit wrinkled, just a little bit. Yeah, I figured one of those names was uh, a maiden name. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she put her, say, when I go to sign something, I could I could easily put Deborah Louise Riddle Cargo, but I don't, you know, because my maiden name is Riddle. That's right. I got you. <laughs> well, it looks like, let's see, if Mike is working, he worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he worked tomorrow. Right. He may be getting oh, yeah. off on the weekend. I bet he's going to be off on the weekends. If he's off on the weekends, well, it, is he going to do live on the weekends too? Oh I mean, yeah, he probably will. Days off. I, Kathy asked him tonight if he's still going to do the Friday night prayer night. I I don't think he, he never did answer that question, did he, Kathy? Mm. I don't know how he's going to do Friday unless he does it early. Kathy could do Friday night prayer. So uh. We'll just have to, and, and I even tried to ask him before he got in the car, what days was he going to be off? So I don't know. Yeah. You and Kathy could do Friday night prayer. 
Well, we'll just we'll have to see. Oh, we'll, we'll have to see. see. Well, see, <laughs> see, the thing about this, they all come together at his house. Oh, 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 okay, okay. That's what we was talking about. And see, they had done that oh, in, right. in a couple of weeks now. They haven't done that. Where David and Darren and some others would come in and speak all together. But yeah. Yeah, any of us can do a Friday night like we're always doing, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you think he's Kathy always. Kathy said I didn't answer that question. Thank you to a Saturday or, well, they have church on Sundays. Most, right, has, right. He has his nursery, uh, he does the nursing home on Sundays, but yeah, it knows and then goes to church. Well, we'll, do, we'll, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Something will come up. Right. I didn't think he did. I didn't think he did, Kathy. But yeah, he's probably going to be off. And see, he does help Martha on the weekends, too. Oh, right. He does. Yeah, at the, at the um, concession uh, stand. he gets his hours, till he gets his sleeping patterns, and plus with it having a death in the family, too. Now, that's over Oh, with. right, right. Right. Bless his heart. He's having to get his hours straightened out and everything. His sleeping patterns. So he gets all that straight out. It, it's going to take a little time. Right. Now you can come to my house. There you go. You can come to my house. Because uh, Kathy don't live there far from me. Yeah, yeah. Kathy, you can come to my house. Yeah. We can do it right here in my apartment on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Do it on my... uh. Laptop. That way, I won't have to worry about split screening. <laughs> Hallelujah! I think about that, Kathy. She ain't but about two hours I'll away do. from me. She's in Florida, and I'm I'm close to Florida. That's right. That's right. I didn't think about that. Yeah, we sure can. We sure can. There you it. go. And John can speak a word sometimes too. Yeah, buddy. Woo. <clears throat> yeah. That well, would be awesome. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never know what God may have up his sleeve. Never know what God may have. Yep. Yes, we do need to give him a break. Yes, and it does help him, even though he's going to work still. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. All right, well, um, yeah. I'll get off here and get me some rest so I can go tomorrow and check, talk to them about my husband. And I'm planning on yeah, having lunch with my husband. Good night's sleep. I'm having lunch with my husband tomorrow. And, uh, and tell him his room got anointed. <laughs> it used to be mine, but it, I gave it to him when I got this one. But that's okay. It's ours. It's the yes. Lord's. It's God's yes. words. Yes, it's the Lord's. Mm -hmm. All this yep. in here falls to God. And Bruce would. Amen. Amen. I, Amen. He reminds me of that sometimes. Too. Kathy says she'll get the address and get John to drive her up there. To your place. See, now you guys got to do it. Thank you, Kathy, for speaking that out. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah, Good, Kathy. Uh, you and uh, Roberta get together and, and do your little Bible study thing, and I pray to hear a good praise report tomorrow <laughs> when I get back on here tomorrow sometime. Yeah, yeah, you get that. Who am I doing it with? What did you just say? <laughs> I told Cassie. Cassie said good night. I told her good night. And you and her have a good uh, Bible reading tonight. Oh, right, tonight. right, right. Face report tomorrow night from her. And yes, you. amen. And uh, yes, thank you, thank you, Cassie. Oh, we claim that one. Yep, Bruce, Maple total Bruce. healing. Hallelujah, praise God. He, when I talked to him tonight, yeah. I said, "How did how do your, uh, how did your therapy go today?" 
He said, oh, I had two workouts today. I said, they work you hard. <laughs> he said, shoot, yeah, they work me hard. I said, well, you're going to have to have that therapy twice a day for a while and you get straightened back out. He said, but shoot, two times. I said, yep, two times. Sometimes it may be three times. I remember doing it three times a day when I first broke mm -hmm. my hip. He's having to use that. I mean, that yesterday that leg was still very big and swollen. And he wasn't walking very far. And I, I'm like, you got to walk down that hallway and get your strength built back up where you can get out of this place. He says, he told me tonight, he said, I'm waiting on that hamburger and french fries. I said, well, I'm going to try to get it to you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. You still there? Oh, yeah. I think yeah, I'm still here. Of the world. Oh, right. Hey, Y'all right. have a good night. Don't forget to go to sleep with the with your sword, like I do, with this hand. Amen. Sword. Amen. Amen. With my pillow. With my little, little Amen. Pillow. But yeah, I got my sword in. I got a sword in the living room, sword in my bedroom. I need some new swords. Praise the Lord. Because my old swords are falling apart. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, excuse me. That's right. They don't want to do. <laughs> He said yesterday they worked with his arms. He said they worked him too hard today. I said, well, wait till tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Love each and every one. I don't like therapy either. I don't like <laughs> You either. don't? But when you got to have it, you got to have it. Love y'all. Y'all have a great Love night. You. And, uh, of course, I know it's almost midnight, but tell somebody tomorrow that Jesus loves them. I love y'all, but Jesus loves you more. God bless you all. Where'd you go, Roberta? I'm right here. Good night. I had to lay it. I had to lay it down for a minute because I've been holding it and my right. hands getting cramped. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. From the I love story you. Room. From Woo, room, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because the glory room is God's room. Roberta's room. Amen. Deborah's room. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll see you next time. <laughs>